Hey, it's Melody. Welcome to A Sanger Spin, episode 18 this week. I am answering a question about medication and what to do beyond, rather, medication. Um, first of all, if you, if you first make sure you have the right diagnosis, right? Do you really have bipolar disorder, for example? The question I got was specifically, what do I do uh, to treat my bipolar in addition to medication? Um, there's a lot you can do, which is great. And whatever mental illness you have, you initially just have to make sure you have the right diagnosis because misdiagnosis is the rule, not the exception with a lot of these illnesses, especially bipolar. Uh, but if you need medication, and not everyone needs it, um, not everyone needs it every day, not everyone needs it in the same way. Um, there are certainly protocols, but people are people and they fall outside of protocols all the time. I have consistently fallen outside of them and not responded in the way that most people respond to certain things. Um, so that said, what can you do? Sleep, diet, exercise, meditation. There's a lot of things that you should be doing anyway, right? Uh, regardless of whether you have a mental illness, that it becomes a lot more important when you have a mental illness to start doing those things. And not just a mental illness or a brain disorder, but any sort of illness, um, particularly chronic illnesses and serious illnesses. So if you have MS or cancer, it becomes more important for you to start doing the things that everyone else should be doing, uh, paying attention to what you put inside your body, what you eat, what you consume, um, and socializing as well is incredibly helpful. Uh, for mental illnesses, I really encourage people to, to go to support groups, uh, particularly if they don't have the funds for therapy. Uh, therapy can be incredibly helpful and for a lot of people is, uh, for me has been in different periods of my life. Um, so that said, there's a lot you can do. That's the whole point. And the support groups, I will say the I went to DBSA support groups for two years after I was diagnosed pretty religiously. Um, the DBSA is the Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. There are also NAMI support groups around the country. It's also the National Alliance on Mental Illness, the national organization. Um, so there's a lot that you can do. Uh, but first off, just make sure that you have the right diagnosis in the first place, that you need to be on the medication, that you're on the right medication. All of that part is taken care of. Uh, but just know that there's so much more that you can do in terms of your lifestyle that can help you in managing uh, any sort of chronic illness, but especially bipolar disorder. So that's what I have to say for this week. Uh, I will see you again next week, hopefully. Until then, take care. Bye.